Please welcome the candidates for graduation from the School of Professional Studies.
Please welcome the faculty and officers of administration of the School of Professional Studies. Welcome to the School of Professional Studies Class of 2023 Graduation Ceremony. Please be seated. Pakistan. Hello from Tampa. Hola, hola a todos. Class of 2023. Gefeliciteerd met je afstuderen. Selamat datang, teman-teman. Hi from Massapequa, New York. Chesapeake, Virginia. St. Petersburg, Florida. Bonjour, étudiants et étudiantes. Goeiedag allemaal. Hola, bienvenidos. Hello, semuanya. Namaste, apka swagat hai. Welcome, graduates. I had to sum up my SPS experience in one word. The word that I would choose is inspiring. Memorable. Exciting. Transformational. Profound. I created a community that is so important to me and lifelong friends. Being at Columbia in person was actually like a dream. <laughs> I was luckily surrounded by exceptional peers and faculty. I would learn more from them than any textbook. I really learned to understand other people, to work with them, and most importantly, to learn from them. I can honestly say a friends now from all over the world. I also have to absolutely thank the wonderful faculty in our program. You all took a, a scared little kid who had no idea what human resources was and uh, turned it into a reality. This program really helped me approach things differently. So having a platform where we can be open, vulnerable, um, and ask the questions we've always wanted to ask is important. What I'm most proud of is the courage I had to leave a very stable career and come here to pursue my dream. I am proud of myself for challenging myself and putting myself out of my comfort zone. I have all these awesome things I can pull out of my toolbox and I find myself using them every day. I am most proud of taking a leap of faith to leave a job behind that wasn't where I wanted to be and gain the skills and education I need to reach the next step. My family was nothing but supportive every step of the way. It was a little daunting to leave my three kids and worry about everything running at home, but they were super supportive. 
two of my sons were in school with me at the same time. It was a family experience. It was actually exciting. My girlfriend spent many a night listening to me on Zoom classes. My spouse read a couple of uh, research papers she didn't intend to read or plan on reading. My father and my mother, they were there for me. We would call at odd times because of the time difference. You know, they had to be up at like midnight or even later. Today on this graduation day, I'm celebrating my parents who traveled all the way from Pakistan to support me. My mom and dad, they've come all the way from Indonesia to be in this commencement here today. So uh, thank you for everything, mom and dad. My family has come all the way from Brazil to come here to graduation. My grandparents will be here to celebrate with us. Hello, Ma and Opa. Today I'm celebrating all of the hard work that I put in the past three semesters. I'm celebrating the fact that I took the jump across the pond, moving to a whole new country. I'm celebrating with my classmates uh, all the work that we did that paid off. I'm most excited not to write another research paper in the near future. Today I'm celebrating the SPS class for all of our achievements and how far we've come. So congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2023. Congratulations, SPS. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you so, so much, everyone. Let's go change the world. Please welcome the Senior Associate Dean of Student Affairs at the School of Professional Studies at Columbia University, Zilan E. Crawford. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. Welcome to our candidates, colleagues, and to the families and friends who join us in person and virtually from around the world. My name is Zalon Crawford, and I am a very proud alumna of Columbia University Teachers College and your Senior Associate Dean of Student Affairs here at the School of Professional Studies. I am so happy to be here today to celebrate this remarkable milestone. Today, I am beaming with pride as I've had the privilege of watching how you've grown and progressed, spending countless hours studying and working on team projects, and how you have formed lifelong friendships. I have seen firsthand your impact on our community. You have equipped yourselves with the knowledge and the tools you need to be impactful leaders who are committed to solving problems and changing the world. Next, you will hear remarks from the Dean of the School of Professional Studies, Troy Eggers. But before Dean Eggers begins, I'd like to take the opportunity to say how truly fortunate the school is to have him as our Dean. His unwavering support of our faculty, staff, and students is second to none. One of my favorite quotes about leadership is those who lead the way often get punched first. So being a leader isn't easy. In his more than two decades at Columbia, Dean Eggers has never shied away from dealing with challenging situations. He has led with distinction and held numerous executive positions within Columbia Business School, the School of International and Public Affairs, and the Office of the Provost. His rich experience, perspective, and deep relationships have made him uniquely qualified to lead our school. During his tenure, he led us through the COVID-19 crisis, deepened the school's commitment to diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility, introduced a data-driven approach to decision-making, expanded academic programs, and the list goes on. One of the many things he has brought to SPS, including me, so thank you for hiring me, is that he has been unapologetic about ensuring that as leaders, we do things professionally and that we lead with kindness. On a personal note, I love working with Dean Eggers. 
I have learned a tremendous amount from him and continue to be in awe of his knowledge of this institution. I come to work every day and I feel both challenged and supported. Now, sometimes our meetings, well, they have fireworks, <laughs> but they always end with a smile and deep thanks. I've seen the pride and joy in his face when he talks about his children, and I relish laughing at his maybe not so good dad jokes. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the Dean of the School of Professional Studies, Troy Eggers, to deliver his remarks. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zalon. On behalf of the trustees and all the faculty, congratulations to the Columbia University School of Professional Studies class of 2023. I am so honored to be here with you all and to have served as your dean. Let us begin with some acknowledgments. Thank you to our university leadership, including the Executive Vice President of Arts and Sciences and Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Amy Hungerford, uh, Provost Mary Boyce, and our trustees. But I would like to add special thanks to President Lee C. Bollinger and his wife, Jean Manyala Bollinger, for all that they have done for this great institution. During President Bollinger's two-decade tenure, the university has flourished. New initiatives have been created or expanded across disciplines, and he has pushed for a thoughtful approach to global engagement and has fostered a dedication to diversity education. We look forward to honoring his legacy and showcasing all we have learned from him as we welcome our new president-designate, Namat Manush Shafiq. Thank you, President Bollinger. We owe you much. Thank you also to our SPS leadership team, especially the executive staff, Senior Vice Dean Stephen Cohen, and Associate and Senior Associate Deans Zalon Crawford, Eric Nelson, Sonal Pandey, and Louise Rosen. Our leadership team marshaled us through the academic year ably and with marked assiduousness. Thank you also to our amazing student affairs staff who support our students and help them to excel. Thank you to our program directors whose careful planning and professional expertise guided our academic programs and students through their shared success today. And thank you to our esteemed faculty. We are also here to celebrate your accomplishments and the advancements you have made across the diverse range in fields and industries. Great thanks are due to the SPS student government, including President Caitlin Lasher, <laughs> Vice President Beverly Gu, Secretary Meghna Jayakrishnan, Treasurer Rebecca Grinberg, and finally, Student Senator Camilo Garcia. These and their colleagues uh, connect the students with our administration so that we can clear the way to meet the diverse needs and goals of our students during your time at Columbia. But most of all, again, we celebrate the class of 2023. This is a very important part. Thank you to everyone who has supported our students. We recognize the families, the parents, spouses, partners, children, friends, mentors, and colleagues. All of you who have helped this class in their journey to earn a master's degree from Columbia University. Graduates, please take a moment to applaud those who made it possible for you to be here today. So let's take a moment to ponder the meaning of the word university. The word owes its derivation to this phrase, universitas magistorum et scholarium, which means a community of teachers and scholars. Our university is a sacred place of learning where freedom of thought flourishes and open discourse flows, unfettered by narrow-mindedness. SPS brings together graduate students from all over the world and from various points in their lives and careers. Opposite of Lewis and Hall, 
just to the west of Low Library and Alma Mater, is a circular bench around a flagpole. The flagpole was presented on May 20th, 1896 by members of the Grand Army of the Republic. Inscribed on a plaque is a simple dedication that reads, love, cherish, defend it. Those who donated it were thinking about our country, our republic, and the freedoms we all enjoy. But perhaps it re represents something deeper. By protecting our academic freedoms, we protect our society and even democracy itself. This university, our beautifully diverse community of staff, faculty, students, and alumni, embodies these values and all that we hold dear, freedom of thought, freedom of expression, and the freedom for all to pursue education. However, we must be vigilant in the defense of these ideals. As we celebrate your accomplishments today, let us acknowledge your part in this important community of teachers and scholars. Let us acknowledge the trust you put in Columbia, in your instructors, and in your fellow students. Let us also acknowledge the great motivation you had to fulfill your ambitions. You did it. While you may have pursued vastly different subjects, you were all united as a class. Each one of you, and all of you together, have the power to love, cherish, and defend the values we hold dear. We do this by making access to education a priority, by establishing fellowships and funds to provide opportunities for others to pursue their degrees. Last year, our wealth management students created the Advancing Diversity Fellowship, and this year welcomed its first fellowship recipient. Great things happen when we hold each other up as a community. Last fall, the Columbia HBCU Fellowship Program celebrated its fifth anniversary. This program creates opportunities not only for students, but for top employers by providing them with a pipeline of world-class talent. But the impact and meaning of this program goes even deeper. Amir Brandom Skinner, here today as a graduate from our Negotiation and Conflict Resolution Program, had this to say. My HBCU instilled in me the notion that I'm young, gifted, black, and powerful beyond measure. My time at Columbia forced me to fully grasp and apply these teachings. Soon, you will be alumni of this great institution, but your ties to your programs and to your class are indelible. Your classwork and capstones engaged executives at Fortune 500 companies, global nonprofits and NGOs, and inspired them to try new methods and strategies. You know that you must engage with the world to change the world. This is exemplified by the winner of the Career Design Lab's pitch competition, the Greater Good Challenge, LeVar Matthews, here today as graduate of the Human Capital Management Program and two SPS alumni will now be able to expand a community gathering place called the Wash House, which provides holistic services and support to low-income communities in Edwards, Mississippi. As Columbia graduates, you take with you all you have learned from this community of teachers and scholars. Use your unique talents to improve the lives of those around you, defend what you love and cherish, and strive to make the world a better place however you may. To the class of 2023, thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Dean Eggers, for your thoughtful and inspiring words. It is now my pleasure to introduce this morning's speaker, Sarah Holloway. Sarah Holloway is the interim program director in the discipline of nonprofit management here at the School of Professional Studies. She is also senior lecturer in the discipline of international and public affairs at the Columbia School of International and Public Affairs and a senior fellow for social impact at Columbia Entrepreneurship, Innovation and Design. Sarah's passion for education, entrepreneurship and equity is evident in her career. Her portfolio of work has included the co-founding and running of nonprofits focused on kindergarten through 12 public education and the digital divide, and on education, access, and affordability. As an educator, she has shared both her experience and her passion with her students. We are so fortunate to have her at SPS 
at this critical time in history when the nonprofit sector will certainly be at the forefront of solving global problems. Sarah provides her students with the skills they need to start, run, govern, resource, and grow their organizations. Nonprofit management requires its leaders to be a bit scrappy. They must find ways to leverage and utilize what are often limited resources. This requires innovation, but also education, something that Sarah understands well. Education and innovation are great partners, but they don't always travel together. It takes a great leader to understand this and to know how to awaken the sparks in others. Through her work, Sarah has strived to make the world a better place. She has devoted herself to finding ways to make learning accessible and equitable. Just as she has, Sarah has trained her students so that they too have the tools to truly make a difference. Please join me in welcoming our morning faculty speaker, Sarah Holloway. I feel like I don't have to give my speech now, Zalon, that was amazing, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Dean Eggers, for including me today. It is truly an honor. Today marks my 17th Columbia commencement, including my own. At every commencement, it seems that we graduate at a unique moment in time that heralds unknown risks, challenges, and opportunities. My graduation 20 plus years ago followed 9-11 and the global war on terror. My first students graduated, newly minted iPhones in hand as Lehman Brothers and the economy imploded and as America elected its first black president. It is easy to think that we are living in an era of unprecedented change at each and every commencement, but I believe the opportunities in front of us at this moment are truly extraordinary. First, because the dawn of artificial intelligence is upon us and is a spectacular opportunity worth embracing, and second, because the world has finally realized that the most important skills you possess are not your hard technical skills, but your human skills. I believe these two forces combined make this the absolute best time ever to graduate from Columbia University. Let's start with AI. Since the launch of ChatGPT, we have been flooded with reports forecasting AI replacing millions of specialized, highly trained workers. I don't buy it. Historically, automation has not destroyed, but has created jobs. ChatGPT, or whatever new generative technology that came out minutes ago, is not going to take your job but someone using it, especially if you are not, most definitely will. AI has the ability to do something quite powerful. It can provide you with unlimited answers to each and every question in an instant and at negligible cost. I believe that the dawn of this technology is more powerful than the dawn of the internet. And as the world moves away from we need access to answers to we need access to questions, and if there is anything you have learned at Columbia, it is precisely how to ask the right questions. This is the skill of the future. If you ask the right questions, AI can eliminate what is boring about your job, freeing you up to be more stimulated, more creative, more productive, and more present in your work. As the job market accelerates, the skills you possess will also need to evolve. Commit to continuous learning, upskilling and reskilling throughout your career, capitalizing on every new technology along the way to retain your competitive edge. Second, over the past several decades, hard skills were considered the most critical. As new technologies enable all of us to become techies, suddenly the most important skill is not your ability to be technical, but your ability to be human. Human skills such as leadership, teamwork, decision making, community building, empathy, and kindness cannot be automated. These are your superpowers. Use them. One phrase I continually share with my college-age daughter is, be positive. This annoys her greatly, but I truly believe it is the key to her and your success. This positivity, coupled with passion, 
will drive you to do excellent work. These attributes are what separate good professionals from great ones. When you are excited about what you do, you will go the extra mile to deliver exceptional results and inspire others to do the same. Your human skills and training will also guide your search for the next opportunity, one that gets you closer to where you want to be along your path, one that allows you to discover new passions, and one that aligns with your values alongside the people you enjoy working with. And if you're not happy, keep looking. You have an incredible privilege, all of you. You have experience, you have acquired tools and networks while here, and you have the credential of a Columbia degree and can afford to be picky. Finally, here is why this is the absolute best time to graduate ever, and no, this speech was not written by ChatGPT. <laughs> Never in our lifetime has the world been changing at a more rapid pace. This might seem terrifying, but change is opportunity. As someone who teaches entrepreneurship, I believe this is also an incredible time to innovate and invent. Like lean startups, companies born in the AI era will start small. The most successful will achieve staggering scale with a small team and little upfront capital. It's clear that the role humans play in company building is also going to change. As more business activity is delegated to machines, humans will set the initial vision, then act as the glue that links everything together and keeps it running smoothly. You are that glue. You're graduating at a time when your skills, knowledge, passion, and enthusiasm are needed more than ever before, and I am incredibly excited to learn about the amazing things you will all do. Congratulations to you, your families, and friends on this day of new beginnings. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah, for those inspiring words and for being the glue that links everything together in our nonprofit management program. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce you to our student speaker. Every year, students from across all master's programs apply for the opportunity to speak to their graduating class, and a standout degree applicant is selected. I am proud to introduce this morning's speaker, Caitlin Lasher, 2023 candidate. <laughs> Clearly very popular. 2023 candidate for a Master of Science in Nonprofit Management. Caitlin is a 2019 graduate of Hobart and William Smith Colleges, where she served as student trustee and was the founder and president of her sorority, Theta Phi Alpha. While at SPS, she was the student government at large representative, secretary, and vice president. She was the SPS representative for the student advisory committee of the presidential search. And most recently, she served as president of SPS student government for the 2022-2023 academic year. Caitlin began her career in philanthropy as an annual fund associate for a private school, and she currently is a senior associate for major giving at UNICEF USA. Caitlin has been an advocate, partner, and bridge builder, and our community has truly benefited from her involvement and leadership. Please join me in welcoming Caitlin Lasher. Good morning. That was, that was a little, good morning. Much, much better. Welcome my fellow graduates, esteemed SPS leadership, faculty and staff, friends and family, both near and far, and those who cannot be here today. I wanna to talk to you all about resilience, failed plans, and trusting the timing. I believe what truly connects us more than anything, including the desire for a better paying job, is that at some point in our lives, the plans we made didn't happen as expected. Maybe it's the things that didn't work out that are what brought us all here together. Let me explain what I mean. 
My therapist likes to call me a perfectionist, and my family says I like things just so, but I like to say that I'm a planner. I don't like to leave things to chance. My agenda is always filled out, and just in case I lose it, I have two backup calendars. I have a five-year, 10-year, 25-year, and 40-year plan, all mapped out. I set seven alarms every morning, just in case. Oh, there's more. Trust me, there's more. By age 10, I had mapped out my life. I planned to graduate from undergrad, top of my class, go to law school, be elected the first female president, and then retire in Bora Bora. You see, I grew up in a first generation, low income household. Watching my mom, a single parent, work multiple jobs, I knew that sometimes there wasn't always enough to make ends meet. She wasn't able to go to college and I was so desperate for a better life for her and me. I felt I needed to be good at everything I did, otherwise I was a failure. So I planned this whole life, one without mistakes or plan Bs. By my freshman year of college, I was obsessed with being perfect. I ridiculed myself for every mistake. I didn't like myself. And then, a few months into my freshman year, my mom, the only parent I had ever known, passed away from lung cancer. By 18, I was, felt completely alone. The plans I had made for myself, the life I thought I would have, <laughs> disappeared out from underneath me. It took a really, really long time to recognize my life wasn't over. After years of grief, of struggle, I realized my life hadn't ended, it just looked different than originally planned. I realized that every time I was, by my standards, unsuccessful, which has been a lot, it led me to something bigger, something better. It led me here. It led me to where I am today because of changing plans. I just had to trust the timing of my life. During my time at Columbia, I've heard from many of my classmates about their plans changing. From the difficult stories, those who lost a family member or spouse while pursuing their degree, to those fleeing persecution or war, those navigating the intricacies that come as a person of color or as a first generation student at an Ivy League institution interpersonal conflicts to an international pandemic. Many of us have had to build anew. But I've heard stories of resilience and renewal because of changing plans. From parents returning to school for the first time after having children, to veterans and active duty members advancing their education, to international students studying in the US for the first time, our virtual students merging our digital and in-person worlds and students coming into their own and embracing self-discovery to our industry professionals embarking on a new journey. It's our collective successes and losses, our hopes and goals and trusting the accumulation of these big and little moments that lead us to where we are now as graduates of the School of Professional Studies. I encourage you all to be open to change. You will not do everything perfectly, I promise, I know from, you know, you will make mistakes. You will not get everything you plan for, but make the plans and write the goals. Don't beat yourself up if they don't come true or if they take longer than you thought. Understand that it's a work in progress. Trust the timing of your life. I encourage you all to be open to change. So congratulations, fellow graduates, on not only your successes, but also your losses. I am so grateful for the things in my life that didn't work out, and because of it, I have the honor to experience this moment here with all of you. Thank you. What an inspiring speech. Let's have another round of applause for Kate. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Steve Cohen, and I'm Senior Vice Dean here and Director of the Sustainability Management Program. We'll <laughs> we will now begin the presentation of the candidates. Degree candidates from each program will be recognized. Candidates for a Columbia University Master of Science degree, 
this morning represent nine academic programs. Here they are. Actuarial Science. <laughs> Bioethics. <laughs> Enterprise Risk Management. Information and Knowledge Strategy. <laughs> Narrative Medicine. <laughs> Nonprofit Management. <laughs> Strategic Communications. <laughs> Sustainability Management. and sustainability science. The candidates from all of these academic programs have exhibited a tremendous amount of commitment and vocal firepower and brain power to get here today. We're so proud to honor them on this wonderful occasion, this rite of passage, this graduation. And so now I invite my friend and colleague, Dr. Eric Nelson, Senior Associate Dean of Academic Affairs to welcome this morning's graduates to the stage. Eric. Thank you, Dean Cohn. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Actuarial Science please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the Program Director, Dr. Lena Shu, to congratulate the graduates. Kevin Sorianto. <laughs> Ila Tung. Rashi Lodi. Samridi Dwevedi. Aruna Bidolina. <clears throat> Emmeline Luvetta. Chi Miao, Brianna Mendez, Chen Wen Zhang, Yu Chin Peng, Yu Kai Sang, Man Yan. Hao Huang, Cheng Zeng, Jia Zheng Lian, <clears throat> Ankit Parikh, <clears throat> Neo Nguyen, <laughs> Gavin Lee, <laughs> Usman Sadiq, Utsav Kuk, <clears throat> Bo Wen Xiao, <clears throat> Wen Qi Wang, Xi Ran Lin, <clears throat> Jun Tzu Zhao, <clears throat> Yu Yang Zhao, <clears throat> Rong Bing Zhang, Zhe Yu Yang, Shuo Dong, Yi Chen Ni, <coughs> Jun Hui O, Jing Zhang, Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Bioethics please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Dr. Robert Klitzman, to congratulate the graduates. Emily Beer. Edward Martinez. K. 
Caroline Bado Luin. Wayne Robjohns. Justin Gill. Perry <coughs> Lowell. Elaine Ossel. Christina St. Jean. Daenerys Sanchez. Avi Pion. Alexia Snape. Esther Antwiwa Bonsu. Trina Williams. Eric Cyphers. Beverly Goo. Grace Wilsey. Priscilla Hall. Callie Terrace. Mame Owusu Efrie. Ahmed Khan. <coughs> Janine Atchison. <coughs> Kathy Q. Kamalpreet Minas. Seema Gandavia. Boaz Borowski. Victoria Jensen. Lorena Tavares. Kestrel Locke. Caitlin Waba. Rebecca Grinberg. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Enterprise Risk Management please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Sim Siegel, to congratulate the graduates. Daniel Crowley. Yue Ning Yang. Bo Yu Wang. Rui Xin Xu. Jing Wen Dai, Mo Rong Huang, Min Rui Li, Tony Dong, Rakesh Kumar Patel, Keith Saylor, Danielle Ann Ranila, Eileen Zaychik, Stephanie Stannard, Tracy McDowell, Zi Yu Yin, Mei Yi Li, Jing Yu Liu, Yi Mei, <coughs> Zhu Xin Ren, <laughs> Zheng Long He, Xia Qing Tiao. <coughs> Rebecca Gleffy, Madeline Leadham, Yo Wen Cao, Neil Robinson, Vernon Williams, Yan Li, Jia Yi Tang, Xin Su, Shu Wen Zhou, <coughs> Jing Zhao Wang, Yu Xin Hu, Yu Wei Feng, Yi Ran Li, Cheng Hang Chen, Hui Ting San, Jia Lai Liu, Zheng Yi Sun. Jin Yu Li, Zhe Qi Su, Qi Yu Leng, Li Yu Huo, Nishant Dutta, Muhammad Ali Etesham, Yogesh Rora, Hong Steve, Wan Yu Chen, 
Yi Jo. Wan Tian Su. Xiao Han Li. Shi Jun Sun. Bi Xiao Zhao. Jin Han Yan. Yi Fei Stephanie Shu. Choa Chung. Ray Young John. Sheng Zi Wang. Kai Jun Shi. Tarif Rahman. Aidana Shakyanova. Resham Rupesh Punjabi. Tanima Narang. Rohan Shah. Shi Wei Liu. Yu Lun Wu. Yu Tong Shi. Zhe Yu Lei. Anaya Q. Yu Tong Wang. Nicole Marisol Mejia Rosio. Xin Yu Lin. Dong Ye Liu. Xiao Yang Li. Yi Shen Dong. Jun Ming Hong. Jun Lin Liu. En Bo Cao. Nigar Karimova. Yu Shen Ouyang. <coughs> Hao Yue Li. Chen Di Xi. Ruo Pu Cao. Teresa Shi Yue Lu. Chi Tong Xin. Kang Rui Bai. Nguyen Bak. Zheng Cheng Hu. Yu Zhang. Chong Han Wang. <coughs> Xin Zhe Wu. Ruo Lan Lo. Yan Ru Lai. Chang Zhong Luo. Dong Hao Li. Ming Cheng. Jun Jie Zheng. Xiao Yue Xu. Yong Qi Wang. Yu Wu Zhu. Ming Zhe Zhang. Xiao Yi Xie. <coughs> Ju Ju, Ling Yu Kong, Xing Qi Yan, <coughs> Jia Ying Zheng, Miao Zheng, Jie Sun, Gavin Yu, Chen Hao Yu. Ori Terletsky. Xing Ru Ding. Yue Long Chen. Jia Yue Wang. Yu Yue Shi. Xin Yan Zhang. Hui Zhou Wang. Le Chen. Si Qi He. Zhuo Xuan Yang. Shuang Wang. Bing Wen Huang. Wen Ling Deng. Yun Lu Liu. Jing Xuan Zhao. Zi Chen Yu. Yu Chen Zhang. Jia Lu Chen. Yu Ning Li, Ying Yue Xiang, Hao Qi Lu, Xin Xing Huang, Rui Song Wang, 
Chin Liu, Xuan Hao Wang, Long Wang, Siddharth Seth, Shi Guang Lai, Jia Tong Liu, Yu Ning, Kai Lai Dai, Ginger Tang, Jonathan Tarukis, Zhi Yang Zhang, Sui Tian, Xin Yu Liang, Wei Zhang, Yue Fan Yu, Jin Yu Jiang, Shu Ting Ko, Zi Jing Zhang, Diana Jackson O'Toole, Zhuo Ran He, Yi He Shen, Zi Xuan Gu, Xi Chen, Chong Sheng Xu, Zi Fan Gan, Jia Jing Wang, Chong Huang, Yu Han Gao, <coughs> Ying Ru Shi, Fan Lu, Ling Wen Chen, Jiang Ying Yue Zhou, Jonathan Zhu, Shi Qi Liu, Yu Bing Liu, Jie Ran Hu, Ji Yuan Guo, Ying Wang, Yan Jun Meng, Yu Fan Yang, Gaga Prazian, Yi <coughs> <coughs> Dan Lu. Xin Jing Li, Xuan Ming Wang, Xing Lei Yang, Tian Pu Jia, Zhi Lu Guan, Yue Wu, Yi Ting Chen, <coughs> Claire Chang, Ryu Hei Lin, Catherine Lee, Chelsea Zhang, Yu Ching Wang, Jia Yi Sun, Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Information and Knowledge Strategy please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Dr. Christoph Meinrenken, to congratulate the graduates. Eugenie Wasito. Christine Keating. Kashaya Pershad. Elizabeth Ndongu. Killian A. Young. Jun Young Jason Lee, Roman Damaso, <laughs> Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Narrative Medicine please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Dr. Danielle Spencer, to congratulate the graduates. Jocelyn Brown, Victoria Dawn, Matthew Eck, Christina Kingsbury, Juliana Nociari, Bianca Aquaviva, Alexandra Herman, Alicia Kaplan, Carly Besser, 
<clears throat> Alice Leiboff. Lauren Jones. Brian K. Barlow. Hannah Kim. Julia Takata. <clears throat> Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Nonprofit Management please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the Interim Program Director, Sarah Holloway, to congratulate the graduates. Fatima Jawad Syed. Jiao Young Fu. Daniel Gayet. Xavier Henderson. Vanessa Lee. Thomas Strott Collard. Angelina Fung. Wesley Holiday. Darian Johnson. Magda Gendi. Amy Newhall. Yung Wing Wong. Michelle Tappert. <coughs> Leah Schweikert. Rocky Hossein. Lindsay McCann. Keith Mullet, <clears throat> Rebecca Randall, <clears throat> Shivani Pandit, <clears throat> Jane Parisi, <clears throat> Ming Yang Xu, <clears throat> Michael Moran, <clears throat> Esther Greeman. Haley Edmonds. <laughs> Carla Alba. Veronica Erdman. Madia Allah. Tanya Thompson. Yi Jung. Michelle Z. Shin Dang. Mary Stone, Ava Cohn, Myra Gazelle, Kathleen O'Sullivan, <coughs> Siomara D'Souza, Caitlin Lasher, <coughs> Shauna Lucy. Patricia Crawford, Deanne Rubinoff, Jason Olson, Caroline Sermon, Donica Bettinen, Kathy O'Donnell, Ifunanya Unwokedi, Ronnie Eisenberg. Ananya Podar, Natalie Baltimore, Sabrina Neymark, <clears throat> Yesti Villanueva, Johan Vandenberg, Alexandra Stevens, Caitlin Gruer, Chen Bavli, Nancy Kagan, Hong Shu, Barbara Danielle Selman, Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Strategic Communication please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the program director, Dr. Christine Billmeyer, to congratulate the graduates. 
Boris Cohorn. Liliana De Jesus. Matthew Sugam. Shanice Neal Otley. Michael Maxwell. Ariel Bleeker. Lorenzo Brogi Skoskowicz. Michael Salerno. Leonor Said Ogier. Chen Shu Ding. Sarah Olang. Avishi Sareka. Carolina Martins. <clears throat> Shu Han Chang. Leah Kaepernick. Maggie Gelwix. Daniel Marquez. Mary Keen. Natalie Falato. Laura Nicholas. Marina Eisenhower. Anindita Dwiwinata. <clears throat> Sarah Forgacho. Zhu Lu Zhang. <clears throat> Shui Yuan Chu. <laughs> Xin <laughs> Zhe, Si Qi Ling, Madeline Cole, Hilary Fabrico, Juliana Marquez Perez, Colette Zakarian, Justine Mersich. Ashley All, Andrew Knowles, Ke Xin Bian, Hui Ru Guo, Kerana Amadiatara, Hai Tong Jung, Aidan McIsaac, Akhil Kapoor, <clears throat> Wei Lin Sun. Sabrina Marie Romulo. Alexia Remputaku. Matilda Iverson. Isene Benmeza. James Holleran. Casey Terrell. Jenna Blau. Daniel Gonzalez. Mark Gilchrist. Yu Chi Lee. Yi Jie Jo. Sean Thompson. Kayla Washington. <clears throat> Xin Ju Liu. Ziki Zhang. Pei Zhao. Si Yu Zhang. <clears throat> Regan Petzold.
Anna Marino Jimenez. <clears throat> Camila Lobo Guerrero. Maria Jaramillo Arroyave. Lasia Komaragiri. Isabel Asquarek. Lily Chorba. John George. Kyle Jacobs. Kristen Tadros. Mary Ivy Mbaya. Christopher Sherry. Liliana Ortega. Xu Han. Kristin Yentov Stugia. Yulia Abdulmanova. Rebecca Schwartz. <clears throat> Alexandra Banyasco. Jonna Plunkett Chappelle. Jennifer Labus. Hannah Weatherford. Paula Diaz Geraldo. Claire Rossi. Dow Travers. Ellen Kaplan. Cassandra Guillen. Jeffrey Chrysler. Andrew Loringer. Jennifer Tian Chen Tao. Julia Millet. Jacqueline Friedman. <clears throat> Pedro Enrique Gontijo Teixeira. Samuel Anderson. Lisa Gaffari. Emily Gaston. Brianna Harris. Beverly Tang. Emma Hirsch. Allison Reeser. Kelsey Moody. Esther Fernandez. Erichetti Mitilineu. <clears throat> Samantha Skinichny. Greta Bertazzini. Paulina Tamayo Mejia. <clears throat> Sidant Srivastav. Jonathan Ron. Marco Adesio. Aditi Desai. Devin Rufo. Daniel Goinatsky. Kyle Orgel. Eva James. Caroline Murphy. Jessica McIsaac. Adam Bernstein. Megan Schlosser. Winston Palmieri. Jake Sanum. Rhea Fahed. Mega Medirata. Lana Fateha. Francois Rochard. Ava Chang. Daniela Alvarado Rendon. Ewuraesi Margaret Simpson. Daniel Eduardo Queiroz Machado de Lima. Robert Bollinger. Lindsay McGarry. Andrew Morris. Anushka Reed. Ranveer Bamre. Shan Shan He. Shanja Alvin Lim. Christina Castle. Sarah Parlo. Natalie Williams. Christopher Reed. Tara Levy. 
Julie Hurwitz, Shi Yi Liu, Bridget Keeler, Dina Weinstein, Caitlin Mahoney, Rebecca Chen, Sonali Singh, Monisha Jane, Dewika Bhagwat, Rebecca Coughlin, Nicole Daniel, Ryan Allum, Mina Lee Hamburg, Alexa Dombrowski, Suzanne Conroy Bray, Margarita Valdajuli, Christina Luxilla, Jennifer Galino, Janai Machi, Jacqueline Goodman, Claire Pido, Brian Ruprecht, Rachel Morit, Mohammed Ismail Rendi Precoso, Alboin Sitorus, Pratik Dwivedi, Abilash Erukula, Daniel Schwartz, Rebecca Moores, Guadalupe Cornejo Cisneros, Adele McEwen, Juliana Sherbrun, Zafania Lopez, Bienvenido Fernando, Talia Bennett, Zachary Russell, Noel von Meisner, Asta Agarwal, Nicholas Rossano, Jessica Yu, Kylie Unsu Chun, Sahil Akalawala, Henry Barrera, Zachary Jarhad Venning, Jane Roshan, Celine Leroudier, Shanae Pau, Grace Ling, Emily Trigidgo, Daniel Dolan, <coughs> Nora Applegren, Viola Miller, Momoka Shiozumi, Yan Ma, Zhao Yi Fang, Brooke Zhang, Benjamin Guiano, August Schwanauer, Bridget O'Boyle, Caitlin Morsing, Frederick Kopman, Alexander Landau, Nancy Garib, Alon Snyder, Alexander William Pelosi, Augusta Gillespie, Samantha Lopez, Adil Roof, <clears throat> Rachel DeCristina, Pascal Doe, Jasmine Daniela Higuera Barreto, Vivian Macias, Samreen Afsal, Jenny Kuhn, Nandin Natsagdorj, Himesh Patel, Joshua Torres, Alessandro Gerbino, 
Gauri Angrish, Juan Estalea Hiron, Valeria Daza Morelli, Paulina Rodriguez Bilbao, Sristi Srivastava, Antoine Pasquier, Po Wang Shu, Jimena Sosa Chavez, Maria Ines Suaya Pons, Katrina Guanio. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree in Sustainability Science please proceed to the stage? We would also like to welcome the co-director of the program, Dr. Brendan Buckley, to congratulate the graduates. Tinas Venter. Siani Brown. Nayan Meshram. Bridge Banerjee. Anwulika Moloku. Anna Bugankova. Allegra Reister. Kelly Priester. Brooke Louise Segan. Mariella Broyles. Natalie Duncan. Aldo Molina Vera. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Please join me in welcoming SPS Associate Dean of Alumni and Development to the podium, Sonal Pandey. Congratulations to the class of 2023. I am so honored to be here this morning. I am Sonal Pandey and I am the Associate Dean of Alumni Relations and Development. I am so excited to welcome you, our newly minted graduates of the School of Professional Studies to the expansive network of the Columbia alumni community. During your studies at Columbia, you have doubtless made many new friends and contacts and have stretched your world a little bit. While you may leave this physical space, you will tr never truly leave Columbia behind. As alumni, you will be a part of the Columbia community for life. As a Columbia alumni myself, I can tell you that this is true. Keep that bond, stay involved. I encourage you to lean on the university throughout your careers and let us play a role in the great successes that lie ahead of you. We will be here to support you every step of the way. Congratulations. You did it. Will the graduates, faculty, and officers of administration please rise for the academic recessional.